it is important for us to understand that this is our new reality. COVID is definitely sticking around for a while. In Sonoma County specifically, we are seeing the report here that says just in the last 24 hours, there have been a thousand tests for COVID. In that same period of time, we had gone to almost zero cases. And in the last 24 hours, we've had 110 new people testing positive for COVID. The new uh, variant of Delta is definitely starting to take its uh, roots into uh, Sonoma County and really affecting the community. There are over 60 people who have been uh, hospitalized in the last couple of weeks with that variant of Delta in Sonoma County. Sadly, also, we are again having people who are passing away as a result of uh, the variants and again as a result of COVID. So in the last 24 hours in Sonoma County, we've had one person who has passed away as a result of COVID. And I wanna be as clear as possible because often there are people who say, well, how do we know that it's COVID? The person already often, the person already has uh, some type of illness, whether it is they're overweight or they have diabetes, they have uh, COPD, they have uh, maybe cancer, some other issue. What COVID does is it, it, you know, it attacks the lungs. And as a result of that, it creates organ failure. Um, you know, people are already having a difficulty and this just takes it a step farther. And as a result of that, they passed away. They wouldn't be in that situation if COVID had not attacked their body. That's the easiest way of explaining it. Because I know that there are people who, you know, love to go to the conspiracy theory the approach of, well, now we're just going to blame all the deaths on this. Well, the person tested positive for COVID and COVID just accelerated a certain process. So one more individual has passed away in Sonoma County over the last 24 hours. Again, 110, that is a huge number. We didn't have that uh, for a long time. Last week, we max were at 45, I think one of the days on, on Wednesday of last week. And again, we are heading in the wrong direction. And we are, uh, you know, the county is telling people, start wearing the mask again, especially if you are somebody who's elderly or have, again, one of the illnesses I mentioned, whether it is COPD, uh, diabetes, or maybe asthma, uh, maybe you are overweight, any of that, please take care of yourselves because this is where the problem lies. The, the problem is we don't take care of ourselves and then we go out there and you know socialize. We go to a party, we go to a birthday, whatever it is that we're doing. And then somebody there who refuses to take the vaccine already has the virus. They may not even have symptoms and they share it with other individuals. And as a result of that, you may end up suffering. Now, there is a 0.003% chance that you, after getting the vaccine, could get COVID. And there have been a few cases in Sonoma County. But 0.003 is better than, you know, 100% if you do not have the vaccine. And that is basically what the county is saying. The other piece that the county is reminding us is that now they are doing testing that for people who have COVID symptoms, they can do a rapid test where they, you do the swab and in 15 minutes, they can tell you that it, whether it is likely that you have the virus or not. And at the same time, they do the regular test, which takes 48 hours. So by then, if you tested positive with the 15 minute test, you will go into isolation. And then in 48 hours, not only will the county verify that you have the uh, virus or not, but if you do, then they'll be able to tell which of the virus is it. Is it the Delta? Is it the one from England? Is it the one from Brazil? Is it the one from South Africa? Is it the one from Sonoma County? Is it whichever one uh, it is? And that helps the county understand what services need to be provided, how much education needs to be done, and again, why we need to go out there and get everybody vaccinated. And that's where we are.
And so we wanted to keep it brief, but we wanted to keep you updated. Remember, 211 is a good number if you need to get more information about places to get tested, the fast test uh, service that they're offering with the county, and at the same time for you, if you want to get vaccinated, 211 in Sonoma County.